Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol TEUM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis a few days ago. Um, so uh, that's where the red line annotation up there is coming from. But want to get things updated though. But this from a present, uh, presentation standpoint, this is a pretty tricky chart because of all the you know perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you are a day trader and you know you bought up here on the gap up this morning and you wanted to sell within 10 minutes after the opening bell, then yeah, for you the chart's looking pretty rough. Now, if you care about the big picture of things, then yeah, I get it. From the where it opened, there was a pretty big pullback today. But today, being one day, when you look at multiple days, hence the big picture, the bulls do still have an opportunity to build a higher base. And when you have higher bases being built over longer periods of time, that's how those long-term uptrends are constructed. I'm gonna be talking about things from a big picture perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you just had a different strategy and outlook going into the trade. And really the easiest way to illustrate this is via just putting in where the base seems to be forming right now. And that is right here, give or take, right around the dollar ten mark. Sure, the price didn't quite hit it today, but still within the vicinity. But over the past couple of days, you can see that on several different occasions, the bears have tried to press down through that area. And whenever that's happened, the bulls have ultimately held strong. Sure, right there, the price did technically break down through it. But then right here, you can see it didn't quite hit it, but within the vicinity. And then once again, right here, within the vicinity, that but the price is holding up. Why am I focused on this? Well, again, circling back to the whole big picture perspective and why I say the bulls are still in control. Let's say the price comes down here and you know flirts around with this area a few more times before it's finally starting to work its way back upwards. From the grand scheme of things perspective, what would you have in that situation? Well, you'd have a big old set of lows right there. The previous set of base would be down there. You know, these lows before the, the movement happened. If you picture these as stair steps, well, the overall stair steps would still be heading very clearly in the upwards direction. Again, I 100% realize that if you are a day trader and you bought right up there, then you couldn't care less about these overall stair steps. But that's why I try to kind of qualify that statement and offer up a warning that I would be talking about things from the, you know, the, the grand scope of things perspective. So yeah, today, pretty rough with the pullback, but the bulls still still have an opportunity to build a higher base. So we'll see if they can get that higher stair step built or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.